Hey crazies, welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I got this lovely hair. I like really like it. I didn't expect it to come out like this good. Like as I do with all my hairstyles, I really don't be expecting how good it's gonna come out. But yeah, if you wanna see how I got here, um, just keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <music> Okay, y'all, so I got this hair from Long Key Beauty. And so with that, I got it in the color T1B and 30. And then it's also gonna be their spring curl or the spring twist crochet braids in um, eight inch while it's short and 30 strands per pack. So let's just open this right up. It comes with three packs and it also comes with a crochet needle and some of those um, cuffs in different colors. And then in addition to that, you're going to see what comes in is also quick insert. The link and all the details are, of course, in the bio. So what comes is this information card with like where you can get directly to the website and like leave a review and stuff. And then the other card that I'm going to show you guys later shows like different styles that you can do with this particular hair. The style that I did isn't on here because I was just like thinking like I didn't want spring twist so I was like okay let me see what else I can do so that's not on here but um, it shows you care tips prep and sectioning and maintenance too so honestly I didn't feel like doing this part of the hair myself um, especially because I couldn't see like in the back of my head and stuff so I had my sister do it and we filmed the very last row for y'all it's just the typical crochet method where you put through the needle you loop it through and then you tie the little knot and there you go. You have your secured um, crochet style. Um, so about my braiding pattern and stuff, I have eight cornrows going straight back and that's pretty much it. I like braided them all into one at the back and then I pinned that up and then she crocheted through the big braid as well to like keep it all secure. Okay, so honestly y'all, I put all packs in my head. So that's three packs of 30, which is like 90 little twists. And you don't even need that much because once you um, start separating and like fluffing everything out, like it all gets hidden and like the gaps get hidden and stuff like that too. So like she didn't put enough like in the front, but also I didn't want that much in the front because you know, we gotta, we gotta preserve these edges. Um, yeah, when I do protective styles, I really like to keep my edges um, intact so <laughs> I really didn't have a problem with her like missing out that much on the front but yeah so like once you fluff it out um, everything gets pretty full like I sometimes feel like I could have went a little less but that's up to you and how full you want it and stuff like that So I went to sleep on these like freshly installed crochets and um, this is the next morning where I start separating it. I try to separate it each strand like no more than um, three times. I honestly didn't end up separating them all because it would have been like way too big for me um, and my head because I have a small head and I have a small body so like all this hair would have been way too much. So I'm going to speed up that process for y'all 
because it's basically just like filling out like where you want to separate it I have to put this cap on my head because everything else was in the way and I wanted to work my way from the bottom up um but yeah that's pretty much it um if I think of anything else I'll be back don't worry I hope y'all didn't miss the sound of my voice too much. So I thought of another thing. What I didn't do was I didn't separate all the way down to the bottom. For some of them I did, but for most of them I didn't because I wanted it to keep like that curl at the bottom. So that's just another detail that I figured I would let you guys know. Like if you're looking for the same exact look. I mean, it's not going to turn out the same for everybody, but you know what I mean. So here we are pretty much all done and I'm gonna end up cutting um, quite a bit of this because I need to shape it to my face and my body because like I said yeah too much would like literally draw me so I took these dull scissors because I didn't want to use my shears but that's what I ended up moving to because I didn't have the patience to be cutting through this for like five minutes So to create shape and body, I was cutting my hair in like an upside down triangle shape. That way it's like longer at the, longer and like thinner at the bottom and then shorter but like fuller at the top just to um, create some layers and bounce and movement. Um, I'm not sure if that makes sense but I'm sure like if you watch how I'm doing it and how I start um, cutting diagonally as I'm going down, um, yeah, it'll become pretty clear on like exactly what I did. So here I cut like a little bang, but you're gonna see like I ended up cutting it too short so I have to like stretch it. Um, I just wanted to like create layers in the front, but that didn't kind of like work out a plan. As, work, out, ugh, work out as plan, okay. And um, so I was trying to like stretch that thing out just to make it longer and stuff. But what I will say is be really careful with like how you're fluffing this hair out because over time it's going to get bigger. So I sleep with a scarf on so that like it stays like pretty flat that's why like in the intro and outro like it's a little bit less like it's a little bit less voluminous than like what you see here so that's just another tip just in case y'all wanted to know so this here is what I was talking about when I was talking about um, cutting down and diagonally so just making sure you're going at an angle especially when you're cutting down and then you can also cut up but make sure you're cutting up and out word if that makes sense
I'm also really sorry for my hair and my arms being in the way. Like, I didn't realize how big this hair actually was and that it will be blocking the camera's view. But I hope y'all can still see what I'm doing and, like, how I achieved this. So, thank you for at least watching this far. 10 minutes, 11 minutes in. We love to see it. All right, so this is the final look. Um, if you like this hairstyle and want to see more of these, you know, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribed if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Uh, hey, pardon my vision, my physics is something unrealistic. I'm just reaching for the antonym of a statistic. Cause I've had homies who were balling, going so ballistic. And now they falling from the sky and thinking that they finished. We steady fighting for our freedom like a dress guy.